Welcome to this Tobacco University video going over the fire triangle, which involves what it takes for a fire to get started, what all the requirements for it to get started, and to keep it going. It's called a triangle here because you need all three sides in order to keep that fire going. So looking here, that general fire triangle, what is it composed of? Well, we have fuel, we have oxygen, and we have heat. And when those all come together, you'll have fire. These three components are needed for fire to occur. So you need a fuel source, you need the presence of oxygen, and you also need heat all present together. Any one of those aren't present, the triangle falls apart and the fire will be extinguished. So that fuel source, so again, it can be quite variable as far as a fuel source, uh, but fuel is defined as a combustible material. Material can be in any state of matter, it could be solid, liquid, or gas. Most solids and liquids become vaporized before they will burn. For example, um, clothing, plant material, flammable liquids, all can be considered fuel. If you have a wood-burning stove, you have propane, uh, gasoline for your car, or ethanol, or diesel, even clothing, these all can be examples of fuel sources. Then it comes to oxygen. So fire requires at least 16% oxygen in the air. Atmospheric oxygen levels are 21%. So just because a couple oxygen atoms are present, it's not enough. You need to have about that 16% of oxygen in the air. Keep in mind, again, normal breathing oxygen is only about 21% oxygen, but so we can have levels below that in order to keep a fire going. Then we have our heat source. So heat will um, rise the temperature of the fuel source to the point of ignition. Now, depending on the exact actual fuel source could depend on the amount of heat that might be needed to keep that going. And then lastly, that triangle. Uh, that triangle, the reason why it's kind of that good visual there is all three components must be present at the same time in space for a fire to result. Removal of any uh, and breaking the triangle, therefore there will be no fire. So this is important. We're looking at extinguishing or putting out a fire, uh, knocking any one of those three sides of the triangle out will cause the fire to be extinguished. But also if we're noticing evidence that there was a fire, we can assume that all three of these components were there to some degree in order to keep that fire burning.